All right, we're Car Cave, Aiken, South Carolina. We have a 1980 Mercedes-Benz 300D, two owner. Um, last time someone got a title for it was 96. So the last owner had it, what would that be, 27 years? It's clean, um, not inflicted with rust. Interior's in good shape. Started with the doors open so we can get around everything, not having open them as we go um, but if you want to check it out it's www.carcaveusa.com our phone number is 803-262-4742 so we'll start out on the interior here talk through the car as we usually do um, the things we didn't sort runs and drives great i think the guy was in his 90s um, we have service records sitting out over there we'll go over them uh, we didn't go through the HVAC, so the vacuum system, the door locks, and the HVAC is disconnected. Um, it's not attached, and then I know the antenna doesn't go up and down. I didn't test the radio. We got where runs, drives, start, stops, but we didn't go into the you know, HVAC or the door locks or the power antenna, stuff like that. But runs incredibly well. Um, I believe it would be mostly original paint from what we could tell. Um, Mostly original glass. I'm trying to think what else here. Is the OM617. We do have, like I said, service records. We did um, battery, went through the vacuum system, went through the fuel solenoid shutoff valve. Um, should have couple other things on the website that we did when we got it. Oh, passenger side window regulator. So, carpets are magnificently clean. Dash is all intact. Um, it was titled out of Hilton Head is where the dress was, but ended up here in Aiken. Before that, it was sold new into Jackson, Mississippi. There's one little tear right there. Armrest on top is clean. Headliner's in good shape. Carpets. You can see some has a little, couple vacuum parts, some Mercedes touch-up paint, and a little window guide kit from when we're doing regulator. It wasn't needed. Goes with the car. Door panel is clean. Door bottoms, rockers. So, just a really um, good all original car. Sorry, that was left handed, a little rough on the old girl. It does have the floor mats here. A little yellow, but the carpets underneath are great. I drove it home a couple times, runs well, and the trunk's clean. Go underneath, get your spare down here. I believe would be original jack. Trunk lid's nice and straight. Got this door panel edge here. Even the seat backs, your little map pocket holders are clean. See the carpet down there. Rocker's good. Um, all the factory options are listed online too, so we made sure to, to list all of them. Um, off the of last VIN, does a good job of decoding everything. And we'll get in the cockpit here. See the carpet, you have a little stain there, but you gotta think for the age of it. You know, seat's original, bolsters are in good shape. Um, the miles are original, you can tell by the steering wheel, it's not all worn out or the shifter. 
Any of your buttons. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Got a little bit of cough. Has 127,000 original miles. Backs it up by the service records. Starts right up. Runs smooth. Visors are getting a little old. You can feel it in there. They're a little crunchy. Crunchy is definitely the right word. You can hear it. Break down the material in there. Let's shut the door so we can get a proper walk around for you. We'll go back to the engine bay. Everything's tidy, clean. It was well serviced. All your AC systems intact. Um, when we got it, it, if you know anything about these cars, which if you're shopping for one, you do. The vacuum drives a transmission, so that's why we it wasn't wanting to shift around. So we just made sure, fix the vacuum system where the transmission was functional. I personally wouldn't care about the door locks. Um, I'd just leave a manual, but the HVAC, we didn't want to dive into. So give somebody a project they can do. Um, you know, the car is going to sell well because you can't find one of these. that's straight, clean, rust-free, low miles, uh, factory aircon car. I almost got the door shut. They do take a little bit of force. People have a habit of thinking uh, speed. It's a uh, good force to close an old door. Not swing it as hard as you can. So we'll do walk around. And sounds like guys are back there on lunch break. Here sirens going off. They're eating meatballs and watching TikTok apparently. Roof's in good shape. Um, you know, I think I caught just a few dings on it. You go down the side panels and you can look at the pictures too. I can catch one little one on the hood, but you're all around. I mean, thinking of the 43 years old, it's an exceptional car for being a, being a survivor and original. So over here we have laid it out. Um, I'm gonna cover the guy's name. You can see issue 96. Uh, there's the VIN to it, actual miles. It was manuals, warranty policy, uh, original plate. And then we do have service records from when it was serviced here locally. So full service log, 40,000. Kilometers, sorry, I was looking at that. 30,000 miles. It looks like after it was in Jackson, the first owner moved around a little bit. And it was up in Maryland. So Valley Motors was servicing it. Eighty five thousand miles, ninety-four, so the ninety-four thousand miles here. Where are they riding? Yeah, that was two oil changes. Lube service. They did it before the ninety-five, so they wrote it here. Matches up with the title date of ninety-eight thousand miles and ninety-six when it was titled over. So service records match up. Right there. Uh, it was last time had an oil change and then it was let's see. What's the date on the title? April. So, yeah, the title of actual miles matches the service log. And we have records of when the guy in 96 started to have it serviced. A lot of it was done here local. So all the local service work. Uh, but if you're interested, we also have a unique selection of cars. Uh, you know, R5 GT Turbo, G-Wagon, Rust-Free CJ5, a VR4 Twin Turbo all-wheel drive. Um, do a lot of Defenders. So we have a couple here. Uh, one in Porsche Mayan Blue, Grashmere Green, Constant Green, Supercharged Tahoe, 70 Series, another Defender, Land Cruiser, KZG 73, EK4 Honda, and FZJ 75 Land Cruiser truck, a 300 TDI that we use for various things. Um, V8 Defender. 911 7-speed manual, another Defender, Type R, Corvette, a C8, a Fiat 500, a Fiat Jolly, an Escort, 
RS2000, an EG6, an EK4 Blue Honda. Got the C8 over here. Uh, Every wonders where we work at. Back around here, where the guys are making racket. Mike here making problems. Working on Defender, Defender, Disco 2 at 3600. Defender, Defender, <clears throat> and Defender. I guess we see the theme here. British cars always need love, huh? Um, but yeah, that's our shop. All the guys are at lunch right now. Usually you got people working in here, but if you have questions, give us a call.